risen. We, for the first time and sometime, have the entire crew. <gasps> Yay! And we are going to take these four lovely player characters and throw them into um, fun things. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Lots of fun and games. Uh, Britt, who are you? I am a player who loves fun and games, Naja. I'm sure that's what you're going to provide us today. Uh, I'm also Cheer Hacks on Twitch, and I'm uh, Lalu, Erish in this game, a tiefling druid, Circle of the Moon. Curtis, who are you? I'm Curtis. I am playing King. He is a uh, half orc ranger. And uh, the last you've seen him, he was mounted on a giant bear fighting a giant slug. And. <laughs> That's basically my legacy. So anyway, over to you, Kelly. <laughs> it's a pretty good legacy to have. Uh, I play Yori Diggle, who has probably a less famous uh, legacy. She's kind of a thief, kind of a, an adventurer, and of course, the economic leader of our, their group. And uh, what about you, Neil? I am Neil Gallery Koibu Pass Erickson the first, and I am playing Langus Volmator today. Uh, Naja, what's going on? And I'm Najo Tikra, gay Tristere, and I will be your DM. We'll figure out uh, just how King got out of jail right after this intro. We're back. So, uh, King, let's, let's give you a little background on what happened sure. while you were gone. So you guys fought the flail snail and went back into the cell to await your next uh, trial by combat. Uh, Langus got done with his spa day at Jessamine's Villa. And oh, I'm so luxurious. Found you guys in jail and paid enough gold to bail two of the three out uh, the uh the the jail the guard was he kind of wanted to keep you king because you made an ex like an exemplary gladiator riding that bear um he lost the bear but so i, he was I succeeded pretty sure. my way to failure basically yeah he he <laughs> he figured he could find other things for you to ride Honestly, it's gonna have to drop the um excited yeah, but you've. How did you manage to negotiate your way out of jail, and how how do you feel about the rest of the party just kind of dipping on you? Well, part of, part, King partly feels um, he's okay with it. You know, he, he was the he was the outsider coming in, so it only makes sense that he would be the outsider going out. Um, but really, it's been a, a long, arduous journey of many, many successes. It's kind of like, you know, the slave earning his freedom after so many victories. He basically uh, lived up to uh, the expectation that that do, do good, do for nothing. What was that guy's name that was really annoying us at the beginning? Stan Stanley? Stanley? No, not, not, not Stanley, the gladiator who was who got killed right away. But oh, the champ. Oh, the yeah. champ, yeah. Yes. I, I, I basically became what he only dreamed he could be <laughs> and um i was i was cheered my way to freedom and uh i don't have any money to show for it or anything really to show for it other than my pride and um my loneliness <laughs> is that why well, you sought us out <laughs> yeah the, the truth <laughs> the truth comes out so um after freeing yourself through valorious combat uh, you remembered, you actually are the one that told Lalu how to get to the abandoned city of Omu. And right. you you followed your friends. Um, they they took, it took you way less time to get there than it took them. So you're able to catch up pretty easily. <laughs> Perfect. Um, you, you manage to track, because you're an expert, um, in survival, you're, you managed to track their very distinctive footsteps uh, through the city. 
And just as they are about to figure out how to get down into the secret area of this house that they took shelter in, you draw back this, this it looks like Langus's cloak hanging over the door. Bizarrely, you draw it back and you find them all pressed against the far wall. Okay. So so we're out just outside town now? You're you're in the city of Omu. Oh. Uh, can I just make a perception to see what what exactly is going on here? Yeah, give me a roll and I'll tell you to the best of my ability what they think they're doing. <laughs> uh, also, I, I thought maybe I was going crazy for a second, but I have not played since we've added ambient music and noise, so... I thought I was going a little bit crazy there for a second. Oh, until no. I realized I was literally looking around like it's a fucking bird. That's and just I... your imagination, man. You're really <laughs> the game right now. Oh, I drank too much last night. All right, there we go. <laughs> yes. Um, you know that Omu appears abandoned on the surface, uh, but there is a rich underground society there. It seems that your erstwhile friends have discovered some of this because they've all pressed their ears against what you can tell is a false wall. And they seem mm. to be trying to figure out how to get into it. <clears throat> Hello. Oh. You made it! But, but how did you get out? There are many deep scars that run very deep into my into my flesh, into my bones. I have fought my way to victory and to freedom. How have you been? Better. Looking at the wall, I see. Wait, Naja, didn't I figure out a way into the wall at the very end of the last episode? Oh, did you? I'm just like, maybe I'm just imagining my own success. <laughs> I thought we rolled. Didn't we roll for something like that? Let's look back. Um, I rolled investigation. Wasn't that for the wall? Or was that for something else? There oh. have been, oh, there's been a bunch of other rolls. I think. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Maybe uh, it was for something yes. else. Yes. Yes, you did. I think, yes, because you saw a staircase going down. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. They're not trying to figure out how to get through the wall. They've opened a secret panel and are all oh. looking down there. Apologies, <laughs> slight retcon. Chat, please forgive me. Um, I'm also surprised that I'm happy to see King because I usually don't like people, but I'm kind of happy to have my friend back. <laughs> so, so I just kind of walk up and, and look. So is that a hallway that they're looking into? Is that kind of- They're looking into- um, it's there's a set of stairs going down mm. and this part uh this wall opens onto that staircase there's a hallway okay. going back but there's also a staircase going down looks like i arrived just in time yeah we definitely weren't gonna leave you we no. were waiting no i know we of course waiting. of course you wouldn't i you fully knew that i would fight my way to freedom just makes perfect that's what sense. i figured that's what you told me you were going to do when you told me the way here. So I'm glad you caught up. Well, it wasn't hard, even though you had a few days on me. Uh, have we been out for a few days? Man, we've been really bad at this. Gosh. It's the late Jessamine has to be dead by now, right? Should we just find this? this I hope so. This alchemist just to- and just kill him? Take his money? That no. would be murder. Haven't we already killed like a bunch of people? They tried to kill us first, which makes it okay. Okay, you're right. Mm. You're right. Sorry. Well, what's next? Do we go down here? Well, yeah, we're... I think we need to go down. Okay. Cool. King, you want to go? King, you want oh, to go? to go. Oh. Well, you can see in the dark. Where's the mm. big map? Because I forget exactly where we are. Because didn't we have a plan last time of where we were going to go? Uh, we, were gonna uh, go? we did. Yes. There is, in fact, a big yellow circle. It's all coming back. There's several circles. Yes. Okay. So we are, where are we at right now? You just came in, um, 
I believe you came just uh, by the the lava pit that's there. Oh, the right. Reason. And you have found shelter in one of these abandoned spaces. Here. Okay. Right, because I was yelling. So I was yelling, and that attracted gargoyles. Yeah. To come to cliffs. life. So we shouldn't yell. Mm. Yes, I anymore. would have said that when we entered the city. Well, I am saying that now that we have entered the city, don't do that. Thank um, you. Do am you... I going first? Or it seems like yes, you made yourself yes, at home you, here. You should go first. You should go first. Yeah. I'm kind of not, I'm kind of hesitant to go down there because it's not, I don't like enclosed spaces. Um, I'll let you go first. Very well. I'll bravely go forward as I always do. And I start to step down down the steps and uh, I'm just going to make a perception as I do. All right. You notice a tripwire just before you set your foot on the landing. <laughs> so before we go any further, I'd like to point out that I'm the only one who has noticed this tripwire here. I, I look back. Anyone take care of this for me? Yori just kind of stares off into the distance. Is like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, I can. <laughs> That's my job, right? I can handle that. Uh, goodness, what would I be rolling for that? Uh, these tools. Do you have it? I do. Just ah, yeah. nice. snip, snip. Not very bright, but I'm useful. <laughs> you, you disable this trap. Uh, can I detect more traps? You are welcome to roll perception, see if there's anything else there, or investigation. I will roll perception. Ooh. Looks fine. You took okay. care of the problem. All good, guys. Thank you very much. And I step blindly and foolishly forward down the stairs. <laughs> I follow directly behind him. <laughs> All right. So you do manage to make it down the stairs um, and it's it's fine. Uh, at the bottom of the stairs, do, 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 what is all of this stuff on my screen? Sorry. Um, you see this business. Let's drag you to the map. Mm. So you enter a small room um, and there's some hallways that extend further into the darkness. Does someone have a light? A light, anybody, please. Am I alone? Yori's looking around. I only see uh, darkness. I light another torch. <laughs> I light another torch. I love how we run into this every time. <laughs> we just forget. I think I'm at like seven torches now. I've got a torch lit. Well, because I, I don't think about it because I can see in the dark. Yeah, exactly. So can I. Uh, let me get you set up <laughs> oh, yeah. with the torch. <laughs> I, I, I probably already around. wandered like this far yeah. and, not, and just forgot. Walking. <laughs> Stop. Oh, here. I light the torch mm -hmm. so they can see. I just hand it to one of them. Oh. I hand it to Langus. Oh, oh you excellent. hand it to Langus? Hold on. Let me change the light. <laughs> Whatever. Whoever. It's fine. It doesn't. Whatever is easiest. Lengus, are you holding this torch? Uh, if I can do so and hold a shield at the same time. You, okay. Not if you want to draw your sword. I just try to hand it to him and he's like, uh, and then I just shove I it at look Yori. At Yori. It occurs to you that you cannot draw your bow while holding a torch. Uh, no, I'll just hold it, fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it. I just hold it and I'm like, this is so stupid. Everybody looks at their like two-handed and dual wielding <laughs> weapons like, huh? Oh, I can hold it. Well, no, never mind. I use a bow. Sorry. Are we I have good? a short sword. I could use it. Forget out the light problem. Yeah, but you guys better keep up. <laughs> you oh, hear something, this. you hear rattling in this room. Rattling? Rattling. 
like a baby rattle, like a snake rattle. Langus, um, you feel a tile that you step on to press ever so slightly oh, under your no! foot with a clicking noise. No, stop. <laughs> and the rat, you just start walking around the room. It's not my fault. <laughs> and the rattling intensifies as a very large uh, baby bone rattle. naga. <laughs> oh, God. Drops from oh, the ceiling what? with a crash. What? No. Can I can I roll for right. acrobatics to dodge out of the way? Yes, you okay. must. In I, fact, I am leaving. Give me a deck safe. <sighs> yeah, Yori, you you bug out um, <laughs> as this like giant bone snake falls from the ceiling. As it hits the ground, I'm like, that is a very specific trap. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me clear this old turn order here and let's get a new one with some initiative. Don't forget to click your token. Bonaga. Alright. Ooh, nice. No. <laughs> oh no. You're holding a torch, so you're a little encumbered, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Oof. So we got a bone naga. We have uh, quite a few slower people than the bone naga. Uh, King, you are this thing hits the ground and like rears up in a rattly, snaky fashion. Bones <laughs> clattering <laughs> against each other. My first thought is just to run down this narrow corridor that I can't get down. But that, I guess, Langus would be in a bit of trouble. So I won't do that. Uh, man, I guess I'll just, uh, immediately just, uh, I guess, spear it with my, uh, trident. All right. Are we up on a little, Damn like, it. wall up here? Is that, like, giving us advantage? Because it looks like there's stairs on the bottom part of this room. Yeah, those are the stairs, um, I see, yes. Those stairs come down. Um, above, and then you came out into this room. Oh, okay. So you are in a, like a slightly elevated thing, but it's not like so high that you get advantage, especially okay. not you. You're uh, of course, in, in the rules, because it hasn't gone yet, will I draw an attack of opportunity if I leave this space, or is it? I don't know how it works in fifth edition. Um, I think once combat has started, it okay. counts, but Neil is our official uh, finder of rules. Uh, that is not a rule specified in the game. Interesting. Up to the DM. Uh, I'm gonna say it uh, because it was a trap and came explicitly to wreck you that if you leave, it will strike. All right, so I, I'm gonna go here then. I'm not gonna leave it space. I'm just gonna run around the uh -huh. other side to block it from uh, being able to move past me to Yori. Okay, yes. So you miss with your trident. Of course, that's what I do. Not in the arena, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I do much better when it's just like fiction. It doesn't, there's no dice rolling involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you run in and block uh, its exit. The Bone Naga. Um, what would it like to do? I have so many fun things I can do. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Um, do uh, I don't think we need to. Let's let's hold on to that. I think it's just gonna try and bite King since it's since that's like the first moving thing skittering across its vision. I don't know. Can it see? It's made of bones. Does it have eyeballs? It somehow has sixty <laughs> feet of dark vision. It's magic. But no eyes and no Lizards. legs or anything. So how does it? It just slithers around with its bones. Like it doesn't have like a tongue to smell like a snake either. So it's magic. Whatever. It's okay. fine. Bite. 19. Oh, my God. oh no. Is that 19? Oh, wait, so there's seven piercing and poison. Do I get a save against that or am I just immediately poisoned to hell? Um, it, do it doesn't give you the poisoned condition. You just oh. take poison damage, which are, these are distinct things somehow. <laughs> uh, oh, 
I'm almost dead. All right. <laughs> yeah, so it just kind of reaches oh out and sinks God. like Yori sized fangs into, into King. I heroically stab, I heroically run, and I heroically almost die in one hit. That's awesome. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Welcome back. We <laughs> miss you. I hope you had a good time on your vacation. All right, bye. <laughs> Yuri. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to. Is is King like stuck like in its mouth? No. Okay. Then I'm just gonna use my short bow, my trusty short bow. Okay. Uh, you do get advantage because you have friends in melee. Within five feet, yeah. Yeah, and therefore you also get sneak attack. Nice. Okay. And you hit for 12. And since I'm not hiding, I don't get my... Or do I get an offhand weapon of strikes as well? But it's not stealth. You can hide and get stealth for your next turn, or... Mm -hmm. You can do a bonus act, attack with your I'm bonus I'm going to do a bonus attack. That one misses. Okay. So somehow, wait, let me double check. Yes, yeah, somehow your arrow, um, probably you chip off like some vital piece of bone, um, but your second one just ricochets off its giant skull. Uh, is that all for you, Yuri? Yes. Langus, there's a snake butt in your face. So normally Except you, not snake pelvis. I don't. Whatever. Normally you can move through a creature's another creature's square only if it's two sizes larger or smaller than you. But this guy's not even skin and bones. He's just bones. Is there any way any <laughs> can make to try and squeeze through his squares, like move in between his bones to get to the other side? Um. He is skin and bones, but you are a very portly man. I am. Yes. I will give you. I will give you an acrobatics check at disadvantage to try and like. It's also made of spikes, so. That's I mean, not you do you. Exactly my greatest skill. Like this seems. I mean, you could do it. I, I feel like possible. you're having that realization as you're already doing it. Like you're happy. You're like this is not what I do. All right, go <laughs> beat it. Oh, if it wasn't oh my God. Oh, that sucks. Oh. You're like, yes, I am action man. I can do like a dive roll. And then you go and like your, <laughs> your like stomach totally scrapes across oh. some spines. Um, I will do some points of damage. You get through it, but you will take. Okay. Take five points of damage as it, you get completely Three. slashed up. Deuced by three by my heavy armor trait. So only two. Yeah. Um, so it I make it really. through to the other side. Is that my full action? Yeah, this is this is hard. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I am happy with this maneuver. Um, <laughs> this is great. I'm done. Ah. I just picture Langus like hitching up his pants and then he's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Langus does a barrel roll. Uh, Lalu. <laughs> Um, is Langus on the f floor still on the well, ground? Because Langus's barrel rolls are lying on the ground and rolling. And like rolling. A so you're still on the ground. So I'm gonna step over you and <laughs> your king. Um, I'm gonna cast cure wounds on King. Thank you. So my friend get eight points high. back. <sighs> that helps. That helps a lot. Um, Thank you. and then yeah, I don't think I have. Uh, I guess, uh, oh, I'll uh, do bark skin on myself. And Get off of me! Stop <laughs> stepping on my head! Shush! Shut <laughs> I have to help King, you want him to die? Just hold on. Uh, and then I'll move back to my original position so it's not an attack of opportunity. I'm just not stepping on Langus anymore. Thank you! So that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Um, so, King, you've just been healed a bit by your druid. Yes, um, I, I do think it's, uh, you know what they say, the, it's probably better to live to fight another day. I, I'm gonna disengage. Okay. Because I know that Langus 
for some reason seems to be able to take a fucking beating. So I'm just gonna go back here. And these are, can I go up these stairs like so? Um, does that give yeah. me any kind of like height advantage a little bit? Like I will get advantage on thrown weapons or something? Yes, I will give you that. All right, so I get up there and I prime my, I try to get my, I wipe away the poison from the from my eye holes and uh, prepare myself for next round to attack. So that's what I'm gonna do this round. Okay, King finds safety. The Bone Naga um, is like highly perplexed about this round moving thing, like going through its coils. It's like, what just happened? Like, am I a pinball machine? What was this metal object that just passed <laughs> through my space? I don't understand. Um, and it's gonna try and bite you, Langus. That's fine. I'm hoping it tries to bite me. Thank you. I'm here for. It misses. Yeah. Nice. Or rather you hear teeth like scrape off the metal of your of your armor. Oof. That teeth on metal noise. It's real bad. It's very confused about what you are and what you've just done. Like who does that? It's very rude. Uh Yuri. Yes. All right. The same old, same old. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's with a sneak attack as well. Mm-hmm. Nice. And I will... Can I step forward and use my short sword? Yes. I'm afraid Lingus is going to die. And I feel like if it attacks both of, both of us, I have enough dexterity to maybe dodge it, hopefully. Sure. I'll be fine. Sure, yeah. I have unlimited hit points. Mm. That... Uh... That's a hit. You have advantage. All right. You only get the sneak attack once. Yes, that's a hit. Um, so your your sword kind of scrapes it a little bit for two points of damage. Okay. Poor Bone Naga. Will no one think of the bones, Langus? <laughs> Langus will just make a long sword attack. Back, yeah. evil fiend! Whap! Uh, you whiff. Oh, no. That's fine. And I will stand my ground. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lalu. Uh, yeah, Langus, how are you doing? You okay? You need healing? Totally you fine. Good? Don't You're worry good? about me. Okay. I guess I'm just going to hit it with my scimitar. I'm going to just swing away. Swing away at it. You wave <laughs> it around in the air uselessly. <laughs> You're done doing things. Oh, no. <laughs> It's a sign. It's fine. It's fine. Yuri is here. I can't uh, cast anything as a bonus. I can transform, though, I guess. Maybe I should yes. just... How is this monster looking? How is this snake bone thing? Uh, it's it's wounded. Like, Yuri has struck some serious blows, um, it but it's still rattled. got some kick. Okay. Rattle. Rattle. Ah. So I'm going to uh, like I hoist my trident on my shoulder and I hurl it, but as I do it, I utter a hunter's mark uh, on that bastard. So he is not marked with that spell. And uh, here we go. Come on. My God, you hit! Yeah. Oh, yeah! For Fourteen. Nice. And I get I get to do another d6 here too. Um, I'll roll that. Okay. That's this great. thing has One. like a trident, <laughs> like the, the trident prongs are like stuck in its eye holes and it like rears back and it's just, like shaking its head, trying to dislodge this thing. Uh, nice. And it's looking quite- How much How much did I do to it? Uh, it was a total, it was 14, it was 15 damage total. And that's with a Colossus Slayer? Yeah. Yes, okay. the nine from the first, from the piercing, and then the Colossus Slayer is the five. Okay. The added cool. damage is if you had crit, which you did not. Right. Um. So Bone Naga has a trident in its face. It's very upset. Um. I think. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I did actually roll a crit. Because I had advantage, right? My God, you did! Yay! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so fourteen plus. Damn. 13 is 20. No. 13 yes, is 27. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> oh, that's just a little better. Slightly. 
Let's see. 13 to the 27 damage total. Did I? I feel like I fucked math up. He's dead then? No, it's it's 27. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, no, he's not dead. Damn. Not yet. Sawi is not dead. Ugh, does Bone Naga get out of here? Um, I do a sad person yell from back. Oh, my other trying. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, yeah, totally. This is true about this thing. It is going to shoot a ray of frost at... Uh, actually, it can't see. It didn't have eyeballs, but now it also has a trident in its face. So let's roll a d4. <laughs> um, starting clockwise from Yori. With Lengus being before King, it decides to shoot a ray of frost at Lalu. Yay! No! Yay. <laughs> I interpose my shield, giving it disadvantage on the attack. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, because that gives it a nine and it does not crit on Lalu's face. So, you, like, all of you, actually, it's kind of a nice feeling because it's been hot and humid and gross. And this thing <sighs> opens its mouth and breathes amazingly cold air that just hits your shield and you can feel it wafting over you, Langus. Oh, I know what I'm doing with my round. Uh, Yuri. I'm going to uh, give it an old stab with my short sword. Ooh. Oh my A mighty poke, indeed. <laughs> you find there's something, it's like, um. It's some like fault of engineering. You like reach out with your so short sword and poke some critical bone, and the whole thing just collapses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it did. It just it falls did. into a pile of bones. Yeah. I'm that guessing one critical a bone on it. <laughs> I, do you want snake bones? No. Question mark. <laughs> Should probably get King's trident out of oh. the pile. That's right. Sure. Yeah, I'll I, go I by and him. pick it up. King, do you collect objects of creatures? Yeah, is that yes, a thing you do? Uh, is, we, yes. we, we fought a manticore, and I have some manticore spikes. Would you want them? Yes, that would be amazing. I'll Here you go. Those. Oh, thank you, thank you. And I put it in my backpack full of weird things that I've collected. <laughs> um, I gotta get my trident out, and I'm gonna take something from this as well. What looks cool on it? Maybe it's um, teeth or something? It does have teeth. It has like a really big, awesomely shaped skull. I don't know how you would incorporate that. Um, its entire body is made out of spikes that you could break off. So the, its its head is probably like the size of my back. So I'm actually just gonna rip the head off and fashion it to be like a back piece. <laughs> it's, it's not even armor. I just think it looks cool. I like that. Like the fangs come over your shoulders yeah. and then the skull is on your back and you're like, yes, yeah. yes. It doesn't fit very well. I'll fashion it to in, in time, but for now that's gonna have to do. I wanna pick up a couple of the loose bones just to keep in case we can use them later. Of course, Skyrim <laughs> approach, yes. Yeah. These bones might be useful. <laughs> cool, uh, so yeah, you're in some cave and there's bones. Well, um, if there was a trap in the right direction, we should probably go that way. Something protecting it, right? Or the right direction trap has already been triggered and the way is safe to go. Then yeah, let's go to the right. To the right. I to agree go. to this as I continue carrying the, <laughs> the torch that I never put down because all I did was <laughs> once fail swing my scimitar. <laughs> like, I have a torch and I'm doing oh, things. <laughs> it's, it's a little dark, Lalu. Wait, wait. Lalu. Lalu. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> where are we going? Where are we going? Straight to the left? It looks like there's uh, there's something here. Back up, York. I probably can't. It looks like it's just a wall there. Is that a door or is that a wall? It looks like a wall. I think we have to go straight to the left. All right. Yeah. Well, come on, let's go. Oh, you're way up there. 
Okay, I'm going to stop at the edge here, and I'm going to peer around the corner for any okay. kind of ne'er-do-wells. Can I detect traps again around the corner as well? Uh, yes. Both of you give me perception. 20. Nice. 20 from from King to see if there's anyone in this room. And Yori, you look for traps. There are no traps, but there's a giant spider clinging to the ceiling. <sighs> God damn it. You spiders. also hear a sibilant snake voice in the distance. Um, we- what are they saying? Ah, you are perfect. I've worked on you so hard. Dendar will be pleased. I think a snake man's playing with himself up around that corner there. Okay. There's also a spider. So spider, yeah, spider. Do we? Um, uh, what do we do? Well, I'm not exactly the quietest. You seem light on your feet, Yori. Why don't you go? A Maybe further? we can. What if I? Can I talk to them if I turn into a spider? Ooh. Um, do you have speak with animal? No, but what if I am a spider? <laughs> uh, you could just role play. You could role play a spider. I could be a spider and just walk around. Do spidery like, things. I think you would still have to do yeah. like a deception roll. Okay. Because please, you please may be that. able to speak spider, but you're not a spider. Please do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn into a spider and, like, just jaunt in there, (laughs) sort of. Let me just get my spider, get exactly what kind of spider I'm going to be. I'm going to be a giant spider. I'm going to walk in. Uh, (laughs) So if I I have spider climb, which means I can climb difficult surfaces without an ability check. I have web sense, so when I'm in contact with a web, I know the exact location of any other creature in contact with the same web. And uh, I ignore movement restrictions caused by webbing. Okay. So I'll just walk in there like a giant spider. Where is the spider? I don't see it on the map. Um, yeah, it's... Above me? Let me... Well, it is above you, unless you're also on the ceiling. Um, but you are the same size as this. So oh my there's gosh. two like enormous spiders in this room. Holy crap. And you come don't, in. Do don't you climb? Eat other spiders? I just walk we'll get in. get to that. It's fine. I just walk in on the floor for now. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Does it look at me? What's happening? Yeah, all eight eyes swivel to you. Uh, and it says in spider, how did you get in here? I take my two front spider legs and go. (laughs) (laughs) What about you? You? And it says, I was born here. I was smaller once, but now I'm too big. It's not often that food comes into this room. <laughs> Back up. I start backing up. <laughs> Give me a deception check. <laughs> Please just be a spider all the time. That's that's what <laughs> just stay in this form all the time. Oh, oh my no! god. <laughs> <laughs> that seems about this right. Is so that's, perfect. I love that's it. when I yell, the jig's up. <laughs> <laughs> it spits. <laughs> It spits uh, webbing at you uh, and sticks you to the floor. You're like, actually, you're pinned against the wall, all eight of your your arms, like, stuck to the wall. No, webbing doesn't work on me. Yeah. Uh, It's distracted. Remember? According to... uh, The spider ignores movement restrictions caused by webbing. Um, Well, it tries to spit webbing at you because it's like... You are no spider, and I'll prove it. And it spits webbing at you, and you're like, I'm kind of a spider, and <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm a spider in a mechanical sense. <laughs> so as it's distracted and telling the spider it's not a spider, I'm just going to hurl my trident at it, because I, I don't think it's going to let us pass now. So I'm just going <laughs> to try to catch yeah. it off guard. Yeah, you have uh, advantage. Okay. Turns. I'm pretty sure. Let me go 
where? Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, that hits for nice. 10. Yori would like to do the same with a short bow. Uh, I don't think I actually get the uh, Colossus Slayer because it's not her yet. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, for five. Uh, Yuri, uh, go ahead and take a shot, and then we'll do some initiative. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, Lalu technically is in, within five feet. <laughs> so you do, and you're also like, it has no idea you're in the hallway. So you hit for 16. Nice. Um, yeah, this thing is actually really wounded. Let's nice. do initiative. Okay. Just try and hang out, and it's like cage home. And some fucking adventurers come through. Yeah, take that spider. He is done. Nice. The spider is having a very bad day. Um, Lalu, uh, you are a giant spider. Yeah, let's make some spider attacks. All right. Yeah, uh, look this up really quick. Sorry. So you've got bite. Um, I would not suggest trying to hit it with webbing. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I guess I will bite it. Okay, so yeah. give me a d20 plus five. Okay. Mm, that's a hit. Nice. Um, and it is 1d8 plus three. So that's seven and then give me a 2d8 for the poison damage yeah okay. you you bite its head off nice yeah you just grab it with your spider arms and bite its head off how dare you accuse me of lying about being a spider i say it in a tiny <laughs> spider voice because i'm still a spider <laughs> And this, this poor spider was gravely mistaken. I turn around um, to all my friends with this other spider set in my mouth and I raise my two spider arms and I'm like, uh, good job, Lalu. This, this is a lesson on the ills of gatekeeping in any community. <laughs> <laughs> Between the Naga head on King's back and her being a giant spider, Yori's a little creeped out right now. <laughs> can, we just, also, can we just go? Uh, for chat, Giant spiders, oddly, are not immune to poison. No. They're not. Right. I, I looked. I was like, it doesn't take poison. Damn, it does. <laughs> it does. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's, like, its body just hits the floor and all the legs, like, curl up, sadly. Aww. Little dead spider, headless spider. This is the spider's fault. <laughs> it's our fault for coming in. That's the spider's fault. It's fine. Oh, I can't get through the hallway unless I turn back. Yeah. All right, I transform back into my, myself. Okay. <sighs> it didn't believe me. <laughs> I, I was convinced. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I did a pretty good spider. <sighs> anyway, the snake so voice is, is has gone a little quieter. And oh yeah, snake. <laughs> they're close. They're close. But, but you've been perfected. You'll do, you'll do. I trust you that I know my craft, of course, of course. Yes, go, go and deal with it. I will see you once they're all dead. Yuri yells like, out, Za Kilta, down the hall. Langus thinks that's the sign to charge and starts running in. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so Langus, you run into this room and there is indeed a snake man standing in front of the luridly glowing red mushroom riddled body of your good friend and ours, Jorm. <gasps> Jorm Eldwine. There's like there's like mushrooms growing out of his neck, peeping from between his armor. Like his face is completely slack and lifeless, and like his whole Jorm! body is suffused, suffused this like glowing red mushroom seepage. It's real. He also smells really bad. It's not a good look. Does he shed light at least while he glows? Very faintly. Very faintly. Oh my god, this is traumatizing. It's it is. It's, it's well, funny. at least now he's a fun guy. 
Oh. oh. Wow. That's it. Oh, we're done. Wow. <laughs> we went there. You really did it. I just and... look at King like. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you know him? Very yeah, even, well. I were all even Zakil Ta is looking at you like, really? Really? <laughs> does he respond to Zakil Ta? Yes, he does. And he looks at you and he says, I know that Jessamine sent you to hunt She me. charges and attacks him. She's in a blind rage right now. She's oh, not having Oh, boy. That. No. Um, okay. Jorm's me, dead. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, give, me, give me an attack roll. I'll tell you what happens. Oh yeah, you totally like sink your sword into him and he hisses uh, and like Jorm lurches forward at you and like interposes himself, raising his, his what did he have, a maul, a great hammer? Raising his great hammer and like, nah. and Zakil's high is like, ah, ah. Jorm! Jorm, deal with these things. He slithers away, um, mm. a like panel of wall like slides back. He jumps into it. It's fine, you'll, you'll get trip with him. We should have skipped that cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Alas. Um, <laughs> let me clear out all these dead things and load up this other dead thing. And then we could do initiative. Do do drawing outline. Mushroom man. I am missing Oops, a lot of on it. Oof. You are you are rolling terrible today. Yeah, it's not good. I got a 22 earlier. That's true, that's true. I got one good, one good roll. One good roll for the day. All right. So this this mushroom paladin stands before you, King. Everybody else seems kind of attached to this horror, but what do you do? Uh, oh, he's there. OK, so I, I guess I move in and do I? Do they look like they have a problem with this? Like they, they don't want to, or King's yeah, we... gen, gen, He's actually genuinely concerned a little bit that he's going to do something wrong here. Yuri is very upset. Very upset. How are the rest of you? Stunned and slack jawed and not really sure what to do yet. Uh, I mean, I remember when I helped him patch up his bad eye when it was starting to get a little nasty. Yeah, there's mushrooms like, like growing out of his face right there. Oh, this is what was happening to Jorm. So I'm kind of just like, I kind of connect those two things. So it's not the most shocking thing to me. It's terrible to see him this way. Uh, but I wasn't entirely certain that when he disappeared earlier, something bad did not happen to him. And now that he is not himself, I wish we could save him. But if we can't, I'm not like, what else are we gonna do? What else can we do? Okay, so um, at that, I'm going to like basically step in here. Uh, I'm going to cast a Hunter's Mark on this guy and then I'm gonna hurl my first trident at him. Alrighty. Cause he's kind of coming at us, right? He's obviously a zombie, like, right? Like, clearly? Uh, sure. So the trident like pings, he like his shoulders thrown back from the, the force of it, but it scrapes off his armor. Uh, okay, then I'm going to, uh, well, gosh darn it, I'll move in. No, I'll stay here, I'll stay here. No, actually I'll move out of the way so that you can get by. Okay. Smash. All right, uh, Yuri. Can I do a persuasion and try and get him to talk and see if he responds? You can try, yeah. Yeah. Charm! 
Jorm, is that you? Not very, not very compelling. She's very confused and very upset. He says, I'm Jorm Eldwine, and I serve Dendar, the Night Serpent. That sounds pretty bad. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Ooh. Is that all for your action? Don't don't you remember Tear? What about Tear? Does that not resonate with him at all? It, the the sound of the word Tear seems to enrage him. <sighs> okay, so I'll stop saying that. And that's. I guess I'll. That's the end of Yori's turn. I don't think she would want to attack him right away. Langus. Uh, Langus will throw down his sword and try to tackle Jorm to the ground. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, opposed athletics checks, is that what it is? I think so. We'll go with that. Okay. Shield still at hand. Ooh. So kind of just bum rush him, knock him to the ground, and, uh, try and tangle him up a little bit. Yeah, you, you're like, you're immediately, your armor gets this like greasy kind of mushroom, like this glowing red stuff all over it. Uh, and it smells horrible, uh, but you do manage to grapple him, I guess. Yes. Can, does, we have rope, can we tie him up? I have rope. <laughs> we could tie him up. We could try to tie him up. Quickly! <laughs> Give a hand the rope to Langus. I'm like wrestling with him with like a piece of rope in my hand now. It's real difficult because he's covered in this like secretion. <laughs> um, help! Can I help? I can try and help him. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, Jorm is going to channel divinity and turn the living. Give me a wisdom. Wisdom saving throw, everybody. Oh, God. Your face was like, I'm sorry, what? The fuck did you just say? Oh, I'm good. I'm so wise. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, everybody but uh, Lalu is forced to flee in terror. Oh, I have a save against that. I'm brave. I have an advantage on saving. <laughs> oh, but it's still a seven. Never mind. Yeah, I was like, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all like. Like you're struck with terror and on your turns are forced to move away. Or or until Jorm hits you with something or you take damage. Um, so uh, Langus, you start to tie him up and then you, it, like the overwhelming horror fills you and you like your hands spring back from its body and you're like, Ugh! Ugh. it's fine, it's fine. Lalu, everybody around you loses their shit. What do you do? What, what does Jorm do? He's he's getting up now that Langus is trying to get he's away from up. him. Is there some way I can figure out what's wrong with him or like figure out whether he is curable or not? Uh, you could do medicine, you could do nature. Okay, I'll do a do... medicine check to see if he can, um, to see like what's wrong with him and if I can fix it or if some of us can fix it. What's happening? Uh, a skilled alchemist like Zakilta or maybe Jessamine, perhaps, if he doesn't kill you first. Can fix him? Potentially. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> he's not, he's incommunicado. Yeah, he can't talk. He really likes talking about his god, which Aww. isn't any different than it was Is before. Is there any way that I can try and maybe tie him up again <laughs> or like can i fashion a lasso with the rope and like lasso him i will i will give you it'll take <laughs> you until your next turn to fashion a lasso because okay. I, I don't know how big of a girl scout you were in druid school i was a really good girl scout i'm really <laughs> high score for survival you know um, give me give me um geez what would this even be there's got to be some sort of check. Survival. Give me a survival check to fashion 
this, yes! this lasso. It's the best lasso that's ever yes. been created in the whole You're like, universe. Wait, just kidding. I was a druid girl scout and you tie a lasso yeah. on. <laughs> and then I try to lasso him. Uh, give me a two hit roll. So D20. Uh, actually, you're not proficient. A D20 plus your dex modifier. <laughs> Dang, you straight up Wonder Woman him. He's like getting up, and then you like this lasso flies over his head, and you sit it tight. I don't want to like, hurt you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Um, so now that I have him, is he secured? Like he's, he's tied up, he's not going anywhere? Um, well, he can move his arms, uh, but as you know, uh, Jorm can, mm. he has, he has some non-arm <coughs> skills. Yeah, I need to like make him stop talking basically, right? Because <laughs> he can cast spells. Um, <laughs> mm. I don't know what I can do. Uh, can I, can I use one of the Naga bones to like prop his mouth open so he can't talk? You can try, <laughs> okay. um, but it, that'll have to be your next turn. Okay, I'll do that. Done. Um, I did enough. <laughs> King, you're running away from Jorm. All right. So you just mo take your full movement as far away as you can get. Uh, same for Yuri. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Same for Yuri and uh, Lengus. Uh, do we get saves at the end of our turns to overcome the fear? Um, no, you have to take damage. Ooh. That's how that's how turned undead works. Except. So, we, so do we have to dash as well? Um. 20, or is it just the thirty feet? Thirty. As far as you can go. Right, yeah. Five, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you, you do after that. You're just like, you just run out of the room screaming, all of you. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. Malu's, Malu's got this, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Jorm <laughs> uh, is going to cast a guiding bolt at you, Lalu. No! Yeah, it's fine. Damn it. It's. Fine. As he speaks the holy word of, of Dendar, the night serpent. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I can cast it at this level. It's no. Fine. Oh, it like, like this noxious red bolt whizzes past your head. Rude. And he seems he's struggling My with the red. Stop it. Just chill out. Is that an action or a bonus action? That is an action. So he does that. Um, can he do anything? Uh, he has to make the attack action to do that. Fine. Um, Lalu, uh, you have your friend question? Uh, okay. Um, I'm yelling at, back at my group. I'm like, guys, I got him lassoed. What do I do? I'm in, in the in distance you hear. <laughs> I just try to shove that bone into his mouth so he shuts up and can't uh, cast a There's horrible There's got to be a better way to phrase that. I could yeah, also, I well, that. no, that's the best way to phrase it. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying what's happening. <laughs> well, no one think of the children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't okay. want to. I don't want to um, hit him because I don't want to hurt him. So this is the best way for me to come up with to get him to stop casting. This I is going to be well. an opposed athletics check. Okay. So I need to roll for athletics. This is not good. Yeah, you got this. No, I don't. It's not good. <laughs> he turns his head forcefully no. away from you. No. It's the air Here comes the airplane. Um, <laughs> all right, that didn't work. Damn it. Okay, I, I like throw the bone on the ground. Stupid. Um, I guess, uh, how can I knock him out? I, can I just start, I guess I could just start dragging him out of the room. Um, Cause he doesn't- Turn into a bear and drag him? What? I said turn into a bear and drag him, but you wouldn't be, be able to oh, get yeah, out. Yeah, cause he's too big, right? He's pretty heavy. He's really heavy, so 
Uh, I don't know how to knock him out without like hurting him. I guess, is there a way to do that where I can like hit, attack him for unconsciousness and not kill him? Um, I think of. I think you would have to get him to zero and then say you're not killing him, you're knocking him out. All right. Uh, (laughs) Turn into a bear and sit on his face until he passes out. That doesn't. (laughs) Think of the children, what the fuck? (laughs) Can I tie, can I tie, like throw another lasso around his neck and like choke him till he be, till he's quiet? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Maybe we should just kill him. <laughs> uh, I think, I think if, as Lalu considers um, these like increasingly alarming plans to deal with Dorm, <laughs> let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. Uh, most of the party is running away from uh, Jorm's mushroom-ridden <laughs> body. 
Uh, but Lalu is, has lassoed him uh, quite convincingly and cannot figure out what to do with her old friend. I, I'm just going to turn into a giant spider and uh, web him up. And then, um, oh, I can also bite him because if I bite him, uh, he's poisoned for an hour. He's paralyzed while poisoned. So I'm gonna bite him and then web him. So I'm gonna paralyze him and you then- You turn into a giant spider. Ah, he freezes. Again. No, not spiders. <laughs> right. He backs against the wall. He hates spiders. <laughs> right. In my spider voice language, I'm just like, John, this is for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> he's shaking his head. He's like, I knew it would always come to this. <laughs> and then I go to bite him to, to paralyze him. All right. Uh, let's get that giant spider attack and pull back up. It's 1d 20 plus 5, I think, right? I think that's the to hit roll. I was like, the spiders are dead. I can close this character sheet. It's fine. It's not fine. It's never fine. Um, bite. Yes. d 20 plus 5. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! He like ducks under your giant spider head and like scrambles away from you. Can I still try to web him or does that count as? Uh, that's another action. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cause I already transformed. So I have to wait, fuck. Okay, well, I'm gonna, uh, am I within attack of, I'm not within attack of opportunity range. So I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, kind of. Well, huh? I mean, you are because you take up four squares as a giant spider, oh, but also right. you're okay. a spider and he I'll does not, there. he's like backed against Fine. the wall. Okay, <laughs> that I did it, I did my turn. Uh, everybody else is, uh, once once you get oh yeah, shout out if I get if I get advantage. Do I get advantage because he's lassoed though? Yes. Give me another roll. Ha! Thanks, chat. You're the best. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> chat MVP. Chat MVP. <laughs> oh my god! What a turnaround, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so the second half of this, give me a D, 2D8. I'm sorry, 1D8 plus 3 first. <laughs> then a 2D8. You do 11 points total, um, and you need to make a DC 11 constitution saving throw. Ah! Which he passes. Um... So he takes half damage on the poison, which reduces it to, so he takes seven points of damage total. Um, and yeah, he's he's hollering. Like you hear your friends hollering in the background and he's hollering right in front of you because you're a spider and he hates Her. spiders. Uh, boy. Uh, what did I say, seven? Ugh. Cool. How do I do this? Uh, use it. How do you guys use character sheets? Real talk. There we go. <laughs> Minus seven. There you go. Um, yeah. So you're you are blocking the door, and he's terrified of you. Um, so that's kind of a stasis. Um, everyone else, Yuri, you're probably like up here following them. Yeah. Okay. Everyone else, like once you get to like the bone naga area, like you you kind of like stops to take your breath and the fear kind of dissipates a bit. So you're standing in this pile of bones, breathing yeah. hard. <gasps> Jordan, so terrifying. <laughs> uh, so are we? Is it are we out of initiative now? Like she's basically got him pinned down. We're just gonna. Are we still in initiative? Um, I, you guys can start moving back if you want, in which case right. you have to move the correct number of squares. Oh, okay. I, I can't even see where I am. It's all dark. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like running, and it's dark, like feeling his way along wall. <laughs> yeah, the the other two are lost. King, what would you what would you like all to right, do? All right, so I will, I, will, I will walk back. Uh, I don't have a torch or anything, so I can't really... I'll allow, I'll allow you guys to walk together since your turns are all in a row anyway. 
Okay. Sir, do you move back into the spider room? Yeah, I'll move back to the spider <laughs> room. Okay, I will pick you up and ever so kindly deposit you guys uh, back into the spider room. I, I, lead, the, I lead both of them uh, back towards the spiders. Oh, that's the spider. Oh, the spider. And you. So, uh, Lalu, your friends, like, sprint back uh, and they there's a giant spider um, there. I don't know if you guys recognize it as Lalu or not. <laughs> it wasn't there when She's you She's the only giant spider doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a rope around one of my legs. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so there's a giant spider dr- blocking the door, but yes. I'm gesturing to be like, he's over there. He's tied up. Don't we have a dart that has one of the Yuan-Ti poison on it that could stun him? Yes. Then I want to stab him with it. I'll move out of the oh, way. Wait, is he already stunned? No. Then I want to stab him with it. <laughs> so, like, Jorm's eyes are fixated on this gigantic spider terrifying him, and Yori just, like, runs underneath the spider, and it's like, <clears throat> Stab him in the neck. Maybe, maybe not in the neck, maybe in the arm. I don't know what I'm doing. But I figure this might stun him. Paralyze him. Uh, these aren't the tri- the Triceratops darts, are they? No. These are the Nuanti ones. This is the one after the Triceratops. Is that is it the same one? That I might have stabbed him with that. Yeah. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, God. There's a lot of chemical interactions here, so I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to uh, consult a random table of madness and see, <laughs> see. Is, um, <laughs> is there a role that cures his madness? In there? <laughs> ah! He rolls like a twenty or something. He's cured. Somehow the chemicals combine and. Like you know how? What is it that like LSD works on PTSD people or something? Somehow it just combines, <laughs> <What? right? laughs> Dr. Kelly. <laughs> don't quote me on that, Chad. It would, it would actually be I amazing don't. if it just exploded after all of this ridiculousness. He just explodes. <laughs> let, me, let me find my table of madness here. Ah, yes. Page 258. Uh, um, let's see. Going mad, madness effects, short-term madness, long-term madness, and indefinite madness. Ooh. Um, let's see. Indefinite Madness is not actually interesting somehow. Let's, let's look at, uh, which one of these is most hilarious? Uh, 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 short-term Madness. Oh. The character retreats into his or her mind and becomes paralyzed. Yes! The effect ends if the character takes any damage. Oh, there we go! It's perfect! Yes! So, like, uh, this hypothetical LSD that works on whatever. Uh. Um, like, Jorm, Jorm just gets, like, so overwhelmed with this, with this drug, but also the mushrooms are operating on his brain, and also there's a giant spider, and he just curls into the fetal position and, like... It's, it's just staring at the ground. Well, it worked to some degree. Hey, well, it stopped. I really didn't want to kill Jorm. Mm-hmm. Now so what? Do we... I... Mm, can I still um, shoot a web at him? Just to, like, wrap him up? Yes. Does okay. He damage? Uh, uh, does it do I don't damage? Think it, I, let me check. If it does, I won't do it. I think I, I feel like I should be able to like web him without hurting him, but maybe not. Uh, it is, yeah, it's a ranged weapon attack. So restrained by webbing as an action, they can make a strength check. Uh, I have an idea. Yeah, I guess it's just, <laughs> mm, there's, there's no, there's no attack roll. There's no damage roll, rather, just a to hit roll. Oh, right. So it's like you could do it. Should is be what fine, I'm saying. right? Okay. Yeah. 
do that. If he takes a single point of damage, he comes back. But I can web him without damaging him. Yes. Okay. What do I need you to just, do? Yeah, it, you don't need I to. I just do it. Okay, nice. He's catatonic. So while everyone's just, just like, <sighs> I'm still spider, and I just like look over, and I just like <laughs> <laughs> shoot my out webbing of, at him. Out of your face as it's proper, yeah. not your arm. <laughs> well, but I'm giving you the signal for spider web. You know what this oh. means. If sure. I do it with my face, I'm like, like you don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> this giant spider hawks a loogie all over right. Jorm. It's gross. <laughs> Jorm shudders. And then I turn back into myself. Deep into his deepest, worst nightmares ever. Wet oh. by a spider. <laughs> so you have your, your spider bound friend um, who is drugged, mushroomed. Can you describe his mushroom condition one more time for me? Um, his whole, like all of his skin is suffused with this like red glow. Uh, there are mushrooms growing like out of his neck, out of the patch around his eye socket where uh, his flesh was starting to rot. Um, he kind of is dripping this this uh, weeping spot and Nokitake secretion uh, and he smells really bad. Hmm, I don't think a healing potion would help him. Probably not. Also, he's had many drugs uh, in a short <laughs> period yeah. of time. Maybe fixing know. more is not a good idea. <laughs> um, do we chase after Zak Hilta? Do we kill him for doing this to Jorm? Or do we try and convince him to get us the potion to save Jessamine so Jessamine will save Jorm? What do we do? Wait, whatever it is, it's gonna be that guy. Let's let's go after him. Once we right. get him, we'll figure out what to do. Do we, we leave Jorm here? Spiders. We can't. It had to be spiders. I yes. All well, right, I, I think so. Let's leave Jorm. Okay. <laughs> Where Mary, was that trap door? Can I leave a marker on like? Oh, I guess we're inside a, like a, a tunnel. Um, what do you mean a marker? As soon as we like get outside, I want to mark the house so we know where Jorm is, so we don't leave him to die. Ah, uh, I mean, it's a pretty big town. Yeah, like what do you what do you do? I just like rip some of my cloak and tie it up, like against the post. But we're okay. inside, right? We haven't left yet. I mean, do you want to leave? No. Is that the plan? We're, no. We're gonna chase after Zach Hilta. Can we open up the wall? That's a great question. Somebody give me an investigation check to see how Zach Hilta did that. Hmm. Someone that's smart. I'm looking. Not me. My Not me. investigation is at a one right now, but Mine's I can. That's a negative mark. one. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Not good. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try to help you out. <laughs> 14. You and I are both just stand right. their hands on our hips. We're like, hmm, hmm, mm. hmm. Tricky, mm. tricky. This wall's mm. tricky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is we mm -hmm. turn? Mm. It is. <laughs> um, no, the, the two of them, You. it's not that you don't figure it out. Uh, it just, it takes you um, perhaps an embarrassingly long amount of time to do this. <laughs> um. But you do manage to open the door and uh, navigate to another room. Give me one moment briefly, um, because it has taken so long, in fact, that Zakil Ta is not in this room, but I must, I must do a thing or two. Um, so yeah, you enter this room, Zakil Ta is not in it. Um, but it, there's a, a highly complicated, highly complex alchemy lab all over the space with like different bats of um, chemicals and like weird like glass tubing going all over the place doing you don't know what. Um, mm -mm. You please do that. And then I can move all of you guys into this room. So Lalu gets into this room. And Langus and King and Yuri leaving behind Jorm. 
so yeah, there's a ton of uh, different alchemical bits and bobs all over the place. There's like a jar of these mushrooms. There's a table with like restraints on it, although no one is currently tied to it. Uh, but Zakilta has long left this space. Is you there... can see a trail of blood um, slithered, slithered across the room and then up the stairs on the far side. All right, I heard him. Is there a book anywhere or books or papers? Oh, there's plenty of books and papers all over the place. Okay, so nothing that we could really catch. Or like we would know is the potion that Jessamine's looking for. You could try. Can I? Can I do, what is it, investigation or perception? Investigation to search and see if you can find something. It's none of this. You're like coming up to tables that like, like the table reaches your forehead and you're like, no, that's not it. <laughs> I get frustrated and I say, if like there's a blood trail, we should just like follow him, like chase after him. Is Can that the chase? consensus? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, I'll follow you. So you guys go back up the stairs. Um, and you find yourselves popping out into another small building uh, further up the street in Omu. So if you were like very close to this area, you, you've kind of like popped up like across the street a bit over here. Oh, man, we're not even close. I don't see where we are. Can you ping yeah. it once more, Nadja? Uh, it's in the lower right. Like you, you haven't gone very far. You're oh, still okay. in this. Oh, like... I see. Oh, we're way down down there. Okay. So I I mark that, and I'm gonna actually draw a little thingy on it, so that we know that Jorm is tied up there. It was this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. good. And then I run after the blood. I yeah. run after Yuri. I'm sure King has tracking and could track it, right? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll I'll try to keep pace with Yari and um, follow the trail. It's not hard. Her legs are short. That's true. I just <laughs> I, I, I walk. I walk. Is it your movement twenty five? Yeah, it's yeah. You're bad. slow. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so Yori's like, let's go, and you charge forward, and King just kind of strolls behind you, <laughs> following the blood. Yeah. Lead on. So you guys are running down this street in Omu. Uh, as I described last episode, it's very quiet. There's no, there's no bird song. There's no, like it's an eerily quiet city um, with all of these abandoned buildings. And the ever, actually the only noise you can hear is this like constant loud hiss of the waterfall pouring into the lava pit as it does endlessly, apparently. Um, eventually the blood kind of, it like, um, trickles to a stop, like in the street. Uh, King, give me a survival check to trail something that's not just a big snake moving through its own there blood. There we go. Yeah, you're fine. You're like, you're is following it with her head down and then like the blood comes to a stop. And then King's like, no, just, it's, it's this way. I can still see it. And keeps leading you down the, down the boulevard. Do um, I see any other like evidence besides blood? Like any other evidence that there's been like any creatures or anything through here uh, in the last like even week or so? Yes. Um, you notice the telltale signs, and you can tell me what these telltale signs are of undead moving through the space. A lot of them. One might even say a veritable army of undead. Probably just like bits of cloth or like bits of rust that have fallen off their armor or, or blades. Just like, you know, disintegration, very slow disintegration. Mm. Yeah, somebody moved, marched an army of undead through here at some point recently. Some, somebody marched an army of undead through recently. Just thought that'd be interesting to know. Different problem for a different day. Let's find this lizard. Can you, you can't tell tell how long ago, though, can you? Are they still here? Recently, in the last week at least. Good enough. 
Okay. What, what do we do with that information? Well, okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, so follow the blood, I guess. Continue. Yeah, you continue <laughs> to track Zakil's hot through the, the streets of Omu. Um, Can you draw us a line where we're going? You're, so you see that like like stone wall? Um, you're kind of like moving up this wide like boulevard. Uh, uh-huh. If you'd give me a moment, uh, I can mark it on the map for you. Just, just, uh, I'm not cooking up any source of bullshit. I would never do that. <laughs> um, oh, that's Manzaru. I don't need that one. Uh, what I do need is drawing a shape. I know there's freehand, right? Yeah. Why can't I find it all of a sudden? Whatever. Um, I'll just draw a square. So you guys are kind of like moving up this like business. Um, sorry. And the the trail kind of dips down where those stairs are, uh, goes to the right, draw another novel line. I don't, um, I don't see not, what you're seeing. Yeah, I'm not just seeing any lines. Oh, whoops. I see what layer I'm drawing on. That's not useful to anybody. <laughs> I don't even want that. Um, do, 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 do. This layer. There's my free hand, no wonder. Uh, do, do, do. So you like do, do, do this way, and then he goes down the stairs, and then he ducks into that building. Ah, uh, okay, cool. It's all in the bottom. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, back, back on my business over here. So yeah, you he ducks into that building. Walk around the perimeter, see if there's any other exits. Maybe we can get someone from each direction. Seems reasonable. So I will come around the back side looking for other entrances. And just kind of, if I don't find any, I'll go all the way around. So you uh, take a short perambulation around this building. Um, there's, it's not that there, there, there are other exits and entrances. It's like a big, looks like almost like an ancient gym, gymnasium, hmm. like some sort of uh, athletic competition happened in this space. Hmm. Whatever ancient culture was here. Um, there's plenty of ways in and out, but there's nobody inside that you can see. This is where the blood trail leads to. Is that correct? Let's just, let's just mm-hmm. get in there. Yeah. If there's too many, that many doors and entrances, let's just go in from the front. Yeah, let's just all go together. All right. All right. So you go in. Um, it's a large, like, cavernous, echoey space. Uh, there's bleachers or, like, you know, like, raised stadium seating along the walls. Um, there's a sunken pit, pit where maybe a pool was once. Uh, there's all sorts of ramps and, you know, like balance beams and things like that. Like there was, if you were going to have like snake Olympics, it would be <laughs> in this room. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> nice. But he's nowhere. To, we don't see anyone in here right now. I'm gonna make a reception. I'm gonna make a reception in case he's hiding. Yeah. Okay. In some kind of snake Olympic pool or something. <laughs> 16. Rolls. Nice. King is very good at tracking. It is known. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the trail actually goes into the pool. Uh, it goes against one of the walls and disappears. Um, plausibly goes underground again in some secret door. I pointed out, went down into the pool, I'm assuming that there's some sort of 
Another secret entrance. This city is probably full of them. Let's go find them. I'm just, I'm like looking for other, are there other secret entrances that we can get to from where we're at? Or can we get down there? For them, question. I'm gonna look. (laughs) Nice. Show them to me, show me what you got. Yes, there are a lot of secret doors. Um, As King said, there's probably ways in and out of that lower level all over this city. But can can I find the right one with that perception roll? Like which one we should go down? Oh yeah, King King has located it. It's in the Oh, okay. I thought we were totally sure. No, I'm trying to steal my thunder. I already (laughs) I definitely know. I definitely know it's here now. Sorry. My bad. Well, Lou is like, wait, I found it. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. I just want to prove that I'm a good tracker too. Awesome. Uh, why? We gotta talk to to the wizards about Yuan T tokens because it's weird. It's real weird. Um. Okay. So you you pull back this door, and let me just make sure I've got that dwarf. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a big boy. It's fine, don't worry, nothing scares down here, it's fine. Um, you find yourself in another one of these like small <sighs> subterranean areas. Ugh. Again. It's always underground. You can hear something in the distance rustling around and the clinking of jars and... We gotta bolt, we gotta run, let's go. Let's do it. Yep. I run in the head because I can see. I go right behind him. Mm-hmm. Like uh, will huff and puff up the, the rear. I check out this corridor. I go down here. Lalu, if you're moving, you need to move. I am right now. All right, let's go down. Let's go nobody down can way. see. If you don't. Yeah, I got it. Oh, wait. So King, King, you come into this doorway and you see in the far side, you see Zakil Ta messing around at a table with jars. And okay, as he, you look, he picks up a flask and quaffs it. Uh-oh. Does he, oh, he probably knows we're here. We didn't even bother stealthing. Nice. You sure didn't. Well, we have a you torch, really you didn't. Know? Yeah, you got a torch. You just What's came bursting point? down That's there. That's true. That is true. Um, uh, as he's quaffing, can I hurl one of my tridents before, like, try, can I try to actually like, hit that potion out of his hand? Ooh. No. Because it took you so long to find the door, he does have, find the initial door out of where he fled. It, he does have time to do this, I will say. Okay, then I'm just gonna, I'll say, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna, I actually don't even know why we're tracking this guy. I don't even know who he is. So I'm just going to do it and I'm just going to throw because someone else stabbed him. That's I true. assume that he's a bad guy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to throw my uh, trident at him. All right. Your trident sinks into him, I believe. Checking, checking. Yeah, you hit him. Nice. Um. And you do a little bit of damage, at, but like your trident sinks in, and then like he's making these like really weird hissing noises after having quaff whatever that was. And as you watch, like it's forced back out, and you realize that Zakilta himself is like swelling to a monstrous size. Oh no! The last thing I wanted to see in this town is a swelling uh. snake. Look. Look, god damn it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he he basically hulks out. Oh boy. That's the map layer. But you so, get the point. So it didn't, he just like completely ignored all that damage? Oh no, he took 10 damage. Uh, <laughs> Was he still just... wounded though from that stab from what's her, from Yori's uh, dagger or short sword? No, he de- he's dealt with that. Ah. He, he drank a health potion first. He's a alchemist. <laughs> but yeah, he takes 10 damage from, from the trident, but the trident itself is like forced out of his flesh 
because he's he turns so into a bummed. giant UNT abomination. Oh. No! Coherent? Or does he seem mad? Like in I mean he, he is angry? Can I can I communicate with him? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Zach Hilta, we don't want to kill you. We just want a solution. Can I try and persuade him? At disadvantage <laughs> because he ran into the room and stabbed him with the sword. You specifically <laughs> did that. <laughs> That's fine. That, mm. And I just hurled a trident into it. That's yeah. Okay. Yours is very Severe disadvantage at a high You're... difficulty. <laughs> Ooh, I do better with my disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Yours works well under pressure. Um, he says, you, I know who you are and I know who you work for. And there is no way in Dendar's name that a former assassin would not send assassins like herself after me. We're not assassins. We're looking for. We are certainly not very competent. What did you do to Yorm? I have done nothing. I merely changed what I found, which was a man desperate, maddened, clutching these mushrooms. What if I we work experiment. with you? What if oh, yeah. we? What if we work with you to take down Jessamine? But you have yes. to fix Jorm for us. Look at it. You're at a disadvantage. You're already wounded. We have you cornered. You can't possibly mm. beat us. Hmm. This is an interesting proposition that you make. How will you deal with Jessamine? She already trusts us. It would be easy. Jessamine. We don't really like her. Trust no one. You would think so, and yet she sent us off three times now to do her bidding for her. Has it occurred to you that maybe she wants you dead? Do you often send people that you esteem into danger? <sighs> well, you can't kill her. Do you want her dead or not? We can work together. Lizard person and- I person. am okay. no okay. lizard I'm folk. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Snake person. Snake person. Snake person. And thank you, uh, halfling. Lizards. Disgusting. Are right? disgusting. The, the worst. Oh, Verminous. Me. Lizard folk. Me too. You might as well Girl. call me a kobold. You you can fix your mo, right? I could. Yes, I could help him with his death curse. I could help him with his. Fungal affliction, if I so chose. What would persuade you to do that? Kill Jessamine. If you say you can, I would love to see you do it. Kill her. Bring me her head, and I will help your friend. Oh. And what proof do we have of your word on this? How, how can we trust you? How can you trust anyone in Chult? How do we know that you can even fix him? You... I've heard legend of a great Zak Hilta alchemist, but you know, I'm starting to think that you're not even that good. How do I know that you even have the ability to cure him or to cure this death curse that plagues everyone? We need well, proof that you can do it. Do you expect me to just perform tricks for you? Not tricks, but we need this to be even. I want to see proof. I want to see your your alchemy papers that you can fix these guys. Alchemy papers. <laughs> your certification, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> some some recipes. Yeah. Uh, Zara Kilta ponders your request for receipts for a moment. And he says, "What what feat would you like me to accomplish? Your friend there, the orc." I sense, I smell, I taste in the air that he himself is afflicted. If you show us how you can cure him, then we know this, you can. This, I believe, is news to everybody but King. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> been a lot happening. Crazy wizard was following us around and left me in the pits. There's lots on my mind. I'm sorry. I never... Uh, it was his fault. It was Stanley's fault to begin with. 
I'm not even saying you have to cure him right now. I just want to see that you can do it. Someone. He, he can though. He can if he wants. You can if he wants. But I just want to see proof of it, King. I want to see the actual papers in front of me. I'm a. Mm. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a. Oh, I need to see that you can hold up your side of the bargain. And once I see it, we're off to Jessamine. Off with her head. Easy. She doesn't even have guards. Yeah, of course. All right. You, Orc, show me, show me this wound, this death wound that plagues you so. Like right here in front of everyone? Would you like to enter a secluded space, just you and I? Yes. Oh, what? Come. King. I was kidding. What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of in a private spot, though. I didn't want to show everybody, but... No, oh, well. none of us oh my here. God. All right, so I take off my pants. <laughs> Wait, what? What is happening? This isn't what I said. This is exactly what oh, you said. I just stand there and look at the ceiling. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Kiltaj shakes his head and he says, all of you are vulgar. This is a matter of medicine. Have some respect. <clears throat> and he turns back to his table uh, and looks at his like giant abomination hands and mutters a curse under his breath and picks up like vials with like very delicately with two fingers and like does some mixing it's like trying look you know those uh youtube videos where people make tiny food all right he's basically <laughs> trying to do that in his uh buffed up hulked out state huh. and he swirls around a mixture in a, in a flask and he says this is the proper preparation of the weaving spot to nokitake to uh stay the progression of your affliction this is as much as I will do for you until such time as you bring me Jessamine's head. But that's not oh. proof that you can cure our friend Jorm. Would you like me to cure your friend, this orc, for free, for nothing? Or can do you, you want to see a demonstration? I, I, this curse is not my doing. I am merely an opportunist, my good sir look back to the party with sort of pleading eyes. We could save Jorm. We... I mean... I'm fine with killing Lady Jasmine either way, so... I, I don't mean, really need a good reason to do it. What do we have to lose out on other than money? And an entire city coming after us because she's a merchant prince. Real talk. Listen, can I... I'm sorry, can I just... Hmm, one, one second, I need to talk with my team here. Can I whisper so that the snake man doesn't hear me? Mm. No, okay. You're in a very small space and his ears just got bigger. I'm not sure okay. if that's... Then never mind. I just... <sighs> I slowly pull up my pants. It doesn't seem like that's going to be happening today. <laughs> <laughs> we, I just want to see proof in your spell book or whatever it is some concoction that you need to make to cure Jorm. I just want to see that you I have. I am offering a palliative to your friend here, the orc. But and I'm giving that's you an, not good enough. It's, I want something less. You don't have to cure anyone right now. We'll be willing to offer this just so that we know that you can do it. Where is this book that has the information on how to cure Jorm? How do I know do you, you want my it? recipe? Yeah, I just want proof of it. I don't want it. We don't know I just how know to know that you have it. We don't know how to make these things. Look right? at us. Do, you, do we look like Al no? Mm -hmm. Well, fine. He, he uh, puts down the flask and uh, reaches for to him now a tiny piece of paper and lowers himself to Lori, to Yori's level and holds the paper in front of your eye, eyes. And it's what completely do I, in code. In, in like snake code or, or like a language that could potentially be deciphered or like... I it guess is I a know. code that is, yeah, beyond your comprehension at least. 
Is this enough? This will bring me the head of Lady Jessamine. You want the evidence that I can make markings on paper as opposed to Yori, sleight of hand, some relief for it. your friend. Yori tries to steal it. I knew that was going to happen. Sleight of hand. Yeah. All right, give me sleight it. of hand. And he will do an opposed um, speed test to snatch it away from me. Uh, Got this, so Yori. Come on. Let's see. This is the correct one, T. Huh? <gasps> oh. So you snatch it out of his hand and like the yes. top is ripped off a little. Can I? So I have uh, the ability because I'm a thief to do an action to like uh, my like thieving skills and then do another action because that's my bonus action. Can mm -hmm. I dash forward and try and grab the potion as well? Yes. Give me. Uh, give me another sleight of hand against his dexterity. <sighs> oh my God, Yuri! Wow. <laughs> Jeez. So Yuri just takes the recipe and the potion. Yes. She yells, run. Just run. <laughs> I'm still, my pants are on my knees. I'm running up the stairs. I'm running. I'm just running. <laughs> I see her do this. I see her steal shit all the time. Whenever I've been with her long enough to where I know when she's going to steal things. So I'm just always ready to run away. We have a really so, good yeah. <laughs> So you guys like sprint down this narrow hallway. And unfortunately for Zakil Tai, he is in abomination form and can't fit down that hallway. <laughs> so you <laughs> hear him like roaring impotently in rage. And I think the idea, like the image of the four of you running with King trying to hold up his pants is a good place <laughs> as any to pause. Um, and we'll see in our last episode of season one, I believe we decided it might be 27. Right. Yeah, the 27th. It's, the 27th? I believe so. Yeah. That's okay. We'll we'll be back on the 27th to see if Jorm can be healed, if Jessamine can be healed, or if she's killed, if King will ever fasten his pants once again. <laughs> Never, ever, ever again. So uh and there's this could end in many many ways and we'll see how it goes uh but yeah i'm i've been nadro tikor i continue to be nadro tikor uh your dm for this episode and the next aka trust ray uh brit who have you been and who will you continue to be it's me brit wiseman on twitter and in person and cheer hex on twitch and lolo in this game and today was really fun I love training animals and lassoing people. It's great. Looking forward to the next episode. Curtis. I'm Curtis. I played King, the half-orc ranger. Um, I guess I was kind of effective today. I'm, I'm more proud of myself than I usually am, um, both King and myself personally. And uh, yeah, that's that's me. I'm Curtis J. Weeb on Twitter. And I guess I can plug something. I. I have another issue of my comic series Red Queens coming out on the 27th. Bye, right, where you go? This is the next day we play. And it's an Orc Dave special. So it's a one shot featuring Orc Dave. If you like Orc Dave and you think he's hot, then you should check out this book as you can see. But <laughs> over to you, Kelly. I am Kelly Link, also known as Yori Diggle in this game, uh, the, the halfling rogue, and also just the, the acrobatic deceptionist. Yeah, um, that mean, was slick. Was Right, this was definitely one of my favorite episodes of this campaign. So I'm really excited to see what happens in our thrilling conclusion for this. Uh, and uh, Neil, what do you think? How was this day for you? Uh, this day was a little slow. Langus didn't actually get to do much other than squeeze between some ribs of a giant creature, but I enjoyed <laughs> the story anyway. Um, I am doing D&D stuff on my channel all the time. We just have general workshop hours while we plan campaigns and make up rules and silly stuff all the time. So that's all I do. That's literally all I do. Naja. And it's me. Um, I did some panel stuff at PAX. I believe there's a video floating on the internet somewhere if you want to watch it. Uh, but otherwise, I don't have much to plug right now. I'll plug all of my stuff at our next episode on the 27th. Uh, travel plans willing. So thank you everybody. Thank you everybody for playing, dealing with my ongoing bullshit. Thank you, chat, for your 
uh, timely rules call outs and reminders of who has advantage when so that they can kill things. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.